this is the ferritin mRNA this is the 5 prime UTR or untranslated region of ferritin mRNA this is the cytosolic aconitase it is a iron responsive regulatory protein during iron starvation the aconitase binds to the 5 prime UTR of ferritin mRNA as a result of this binding translation of ferritin mRNA is blocked as a result no ferritin mRNA is made during iron starvation now let us consider what happens to transferrin receptor mRNA having a 3 prime UTR in this condition the cytosolic aconitase binds to the 3 prime UTR region of transferrin receptor mRNA due to this binding endonuclease cleavage site is blocked within the transferrin receptor mRNA due to this blocking the transferrin receptor mRNA becomes stable this stable transferrin receptor mRNA then undergoes translation to produce transferrin receptor this is the ferritin mRNA bound to the cytosolic aconitase when there are excess iron in the cytosol of a cell the iron binds to the aconitase due to this binding the aconitase undergoes a conformational change as a result the iron bound aconitase dissociates from the ferritin mRNA as a result of this dissociation the ferritin mRNA undergoes translation and produces ferritin the ferritin then binds to the excess iron now let us consider what happens to transferrin receptor mRNA bounded to a cytosolic aconitase when there are excess irons in the cytosol of a cell in this condition the iron binds to the bounded aconitase due to this binding the bounded aconitase undergoes conformational change due to this conformational change the iron bound aconitase dissociates from the transferrin receptor mRNA as a result of this dissociation endonucleolytic cleavage of transferrin receptor mRNA occurs so the transferrin receptor mRNA undergoes degradation so no transferrin receptor is made as a result less irons are imported across the plasma membrane of a cell please like subscribe and share